What's going on everybody? Brandon here, back with another video. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for joining me for another episode. Let's get into it. I was checking my email and I came across this question and I thought it would be really important to address. My biggest frustration is that I would like to experiment with paints but tend to not start anything because I know it won't be perfect. See, here's the thing. If you know it's not gonna be perfect, you might as well start. You know, there's nothing, there's no, there's no frustration, there's nothing to be afraid of. And that's what happens is people get so afraid. It's not really frustration. It's that you're, you've become afraid now. Uh, you've gotten angry in the past or frustrated in the past and now you're just afraid that um, since you know it's not gonna be perfect or good, you're just not even gonna try anymore. But I mean, how are you, how are you gonna get better at anything? You know what I mean? You have to, to uh, try and just do it. You have to just do it. If, if you want to become fit and healthy, you can't just be frustrated that, uh, you know, the first time you try to run a marathon or you try to jog around the block or something that uh, you're not, you're only going to make it like halfway. So you're not even going to try. You know, you have to, it's something you build up. You have to just experiment with. Uh, you can't, it's not just going to happen like that. You have to work at it. You know, that's what it comes down to. You have to just do it. Because if, if you let that fear stop you and, and that your mind, you got to turn off your mind and not worry about that. You have to be able to just, if it's something you really want to do, you have to, you have to do it. Otherwise, you're not going to do it. And, and you're going to let this, this, this self-doubt and this negative self-talk just keep you down. Definitely experiment and do your best and, and just keep working at it. Keep working at it, bro, because if you don't do it, if you never start, you're not going to get any better. Um, and you're just going to waste your whole life wishing, you know, regretting that you didn't try something um, and that you were too afraid. And uh, it's a shame. So definitely try it out. You know, people think, people have a misconception of, like art is easy, art is, uh, art is this, art is that. And it's, it's not any of those things really. Parts of it are simple, parts of it are easy, other parts are complicated. Other parts are gonna take years and years and years of training for you to get good at. I mean, I know that myself, and I, I'm not the best painter out there. I don't ever claim to be. And I know it's just, I'm slowly getting better. I'm seeing improvement in my work, and I'm just sticking with it. And I've realized that I have to stick with it even when I'm not motivated, even when I'm not inspired. And I haven't been doing that lately, and I haven't done that in the past. But it's something I kind of just realized and have learned that, you know, if you have to, if you're going to do something, you have to just do it. You can't worry about if you're motivated because you'll do it for six months and then you'll be off for six months. And, you know, you'll never, you're never going to stay consistent with it. You're never going to be good at it. You're never going to get good at it. So you can't worry about motivation. You can't worry about your fear. You have to just do it. Otherwise, it's kind of ridiculous. I mean, you said here, you know, it won't be perfect. You already know it's not going to be perfect. So you might as well do it anyway. There's no painting out there that's perfect. There's no drawing out there that's perfect. Nothing is perfect in this world, so you might as well do it anyway. Because you didn't know it, but you already gave yourself the solution. You already know it's not gonna be perfect, so you might as well do it. Other people think it's gonna be perfect, and then they go and try it, and then when they fail, because it isn't perfect, then they give up. But you already kind of beat that step. You already admitted to yourself it's not gonna be perfect. And that's what you want. It's not. You're not doing it to make something perfect. That's the, that's another problem with art. People think, oh, it's not going to be good. It's not going to look how I want. It's not going to be this way. It's not going to be this way. It's not going to be perfect. No, 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 no. It's not about being. It's not about it being perfect. What what painting out there? You know, what instructor out there has ever said the painting has to be perfect? It's about the painting being perfect. And when we go to museums and stuff, it's not about the painting being perfect. There's plenty of art out there that's like really imperfect, and it's. Beautiful. Everybody loves it for its imperfections and the way that it, the paint was handled and the way that it was painted. So it's not about things being perfect in life. Nothing's going to be perfect. Your paintings aren't going to be perfect. Your drawings aren't going to be perfect. Nothing's going to be perfect. So you have to just admit that to yourself already and then just go for it and just do the best you can. I mean, that's, that's what it comes down to is just doing the best you can with it and training every day or every other day, three times a week. You know, think of it like going to the gym, man. I've been going to the gym lately and it's, uh, there's been some days where, yeah, I didn't want to wake up at six o'clock in the morning or 6.30 and go to the gym, but I did anyway because I know that I should. I should be getting in shape, getting fit instead of just sitting around doing nothing with my life. 
and getting fatter and all this stuff. You know, painting is the same way or anything you do in life, drawing, it's gonna be the same way. You have to kind of do it even though you're not motivated, even though you may not be inspired. You have to find that, that inspiration and just do it even if you're not motivated. You kind of have to become robotic about it. You know, and you may not create your best artwork at that time, but that's the thing. You learn from those, and the more you do it, the more you're going to get better anyway. But you have to observe yourself doing it. You have to be very aware of what you're doing and really think about it. Sometimes you can turn off your mind and just you be in the zone, and you can just not worry about your consciousness, and you can just, you know, you get into that weird zone where you're not really thinking about anything. It's just flowing. And sometimes that's good, but... Um, you know, at the end of the day, you have to step back from it and go, okay, what's wrong with it? Why, can I fix it? Or, you know, is it worth trying to fix it? Sometimes it won't be worth fixing it, bro. So you have to just, you know, take that lesson and move it into your, your and, and use that for your next work, your next painting, your next drawing that's gonna be better than the last. So anyway, yeah, don't be frustrated that it's not gonna be perfect because you'll, you'll never get anywhere if, if you think it's gonna be perfect or, you know, if I'm going to the gym all the time, I, I know like my body's not perfect and it's never gonna be perfect. There's no such thing as like perfect. Anyway, that's the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. Anyway, take care of yourself. Peace.